Hi everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates. Um, I have a project share. I've been so excited to show you because I've been creating um, some Christmas decorations and these are sort of versatile. They can be Christmas or not, um, but I'm calling them my Christmas angel, um, well, angel Christmas sacks or something along those lines because um, I'm thinking it, it's sort of my big girl version of a Christmas stocking. And I'll start with the back. I made um, the stocking with uh, some really nice linen fabric. And it has like a creamy yellow color to it. So I used some satiny creamy yellow trim. Um, so this is the back with just this real pretty rosette. Um, and the dangle laces, I had them wrap all the way around to the back. And there's two different types of lace and they came from um, an upcycled scarf that I got from a thrift store I just love when I can use the things that I actually thrifted um, so that's the bottom of the back and the top of the back I have a hanger with some cotton lace trim and I covered it by just wrapping more of that dangle lace around and then the top of this stocking has a circular doily with a linen center and I sort of cut it on an arch and wrapped it from front to back and then I put a little bit of applique here in the back that's the center of the doily and so this is the back and then this is the front and I made it on a vintage theme um, with the creamy colors and the buttery creamy pearls and so here's the bottom the bottom of this is a chiffon scarf and this is just a corner of the scarf that I uh, that's trimmed with pearls and the pearls were already on there so it gave me a little bit of help well, let's start here at the very very bottom the the linen piece was a linen napkin that had this pretty lace trim so I just left the lace trim on the bottom to, to kind of start with the layers of lace and then I added the dangles from the scarves two different scarves and then the chiffon scarf I covered with more of the lace that was on the edges of the napkin and I just kind of layered it and then I um, put one more layer of trim pearl trim around the edge like so and then I put a really adorable picture of an angel in the middle, a vintage angel. And I trimmed the, framed it with this Chinese trim. And um, then I just used, cut out applique with pearl centers for the corners. And then there's several different layers of trim on the edges. I don't know if you can see, there's a satiny one here. There's even another one here. And some pearl trim. And then a little bit of lace trim here. And going up, there's some bridal applique there with little pearl centers and a flowered piece here and then this is more of the chiffon scarf sort of like a collar and um, it's got the pearl trim that was already on the scarf and then this is more of the doily that has the center the linen center here and it was shaped in a circle so I just cut the arches of the circle and I can get the dingles to go back down there's a seam binding bow and flat back pearl and diamond center piece of bling and more of this pretty loopy trim at the top and then inside I just used some more of that trim that I used on the edges of the back here to uh, finish it off on the inside so this is my angel Christmas sack and I just love 
how light and airy all the little dangles are and the pearls and then I also added a little amber beaded ch angel charm there so that's the first one and then I have one more and this one is on a linen fabric as well but it's a thicker heavier linen and some lace trim that I believe I cut off of a blouse and some of the Chinese braid just for the edging of it and then this is the hanger with two of those little rosettes and um, some bridal applique wrapping around the back and then I just trimmed it with some lace around the top to finish off the edge so that's the back and this is the front and it's just a rectangle sack and at the bottom here we have that pretty lace trim and then I have a half a doily on the bottom and then the other half is on the top but I love this one because it's got like points of a star and it's a nice crocheted lace doily and then the shape of the dangles also come to a point here so I thought that was a nice complement to the doily and then um, some bridal applique it sort of dangles down here and then these are sequined and pearl little embellishments that were already on the applique and the sequins are kind of a yellowy color but that's actually okay and then this was a strip of that satin rosette corded uh, trim it's so pretty with the pearls in the middle and then I have another beautiful angel vintage angel piece and I learned from this that I wanted to keep it from running if it got wet so I put decoupage glue on after it was mounted and it kind of got bumpy and lumpy so I'll know next time to decoupage it first um, to seal it and then I've got this beautiful kind of squiggly line scalloped lace trim and some Chinese braid at the top and bottom and this whole lace piece covers the entire front of the linen sack so this is all one piece and then I added some beaded trim and then the top is just again the other half of that um, that doily that's got the points on it I just love it and then some more of the bridal applique and our seam binding bow and then this little satin rosette and then I added another one of the amber little angels just as like a charm and then there's some more oh there's again the bridal applique and the trim just to finish off the rough edge there so that's the second one and I just think they're so so pretty for Christmas but they can also be for any other time of the year and I wanted to show them to you I hope you like them um, I want to say thank you to all of you who just make such kind compliments and um, subscribe to my channel and come by and watch I really really appreciate it and so just thought you might like to see what I've been up to over the weekend and this was it so I will be back again probably to share some more videos of things I've been creating thanks to all of you for all your inspiration um, this has just been a lot of fun and now that we're into the holiday season which is my favorite season um, I'll be crafting probably even more so I will see you around and I hope you come back and watch again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.